celebration for an Olympic star. Swimmer Allison Schmidt is back home being honored in Canton, and she's talking to 7 Action News. She took home five medals from London, including three gold. Yeah, 7 Action News reporter Vic Faust is in Canton now, where Schmidt is greeting her fans at the Heritage Park Amphitheater. And Vic, it's got to be pretty exciting to just be with this hometown <laughs> hero. Oh, I'm having a blast today next to the star of the night, Allison Schmidt. Hi. And we just might get those gold medals walking in as we're talking. <laughs> She's being whisked around everywhere right now as we're having a good time actually talking about what the Olympic experience was like. Has this even set in for you yet? I mean, I know you've you started this Olympic journey and this dream of the gold medals in five at the London Games about two weeks ago, but uh, is it real? Not yet. I feel like you should pinch me right now. I'm still in cloud nine, so it definitely hasn't sunk in yet. All right, let's talk about the races, the experience that you had winning gold. Everybody talks about when you do win that gold medal, you think back to all the years of training and the, just the pursuit of it, and you get it, your feelings upon winning that the first time. I can't even put it into words. I'm so speechless. My first individual medal, the sil silver, I was crying on the podium, and then it just got better from there. Three golds after that. I can't even put it into words how much that meant to me and how exciting the experience was. Do you feel like a superstar at all? No. <laughs> someone came up to me today and said, wow, I've never met someone famous, and I was like, have you now? <laughs> I don't think you have yet. So, uh, with someone saying that to me, I definitely don't feel like one. But well, you won a bronze medal at the last Olympics, so obviously yeah. you made a name for yourself worldwide. But when you win gold and bronze, I'm holding all the medals <laughs> that were just handed to me. This is amazing, holding gold medals. This will be the closest that I ever get to one of these. Uh, when you look back at the, what you did, was this what you went expecting to do, or did you surprise yourself a little bit? I definitely surprised myself a little bit. I was. You're always going wanting to win gold, but there's always something that you're hoping to come back with at least one medal. And coming back with five, I was ecstatic. What about uh, training with Michael Phelps? Everybody knows Michael, arguably the greatest Olympian of all time. You had the distinct honor of training with. What did you pick up from Michael that may have helped you win some of these, but these medals? So much. He means the world to me, and he definitely has helped me out this year. The past five years I've been training with him, he's helped me out, and I see everything he does every day in practice, every day outside the pool, and he's an inspiration. He's opened up so many doors for us swimmers that are still swimming, continuing swimming, and he has definitely helped me out a lot, focusing, stroke technique, and a lot more. All right, you're a superstar in your own right, but when you're in the Olympic Village and you're getting a chance to celebrate after all of your work was done, who was the, the coolest, the neatest uh, Olympian slash celebrity that you got to meet or you really enjoyed hanging out with or, or, or at least just spending some time with? Well, this is a hard question. You I, can name them all if you wanted to. It doesn't have to be just <laughs> one. Who did you meet that you thought was pretty interesting? Rupert Grint. The, from Ron Weasley from Harry Potter. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Not an right. athlete, but it was cool meeting him. I'm going to hand these medals back to you. We're, <laughs> the, I'm going to let you hold those. I don't want to drop those. <laughs> we appreciate it. Thank you for taking the time Thank to join us. Thank you very much. And we want to remind everybody, her celebration is coming up at 6 o'clock. It's at the Heritage Park Amphitheater. I have the distinct honor of emceeing this event tonight. Looking forward to it as Canton and the nearby community say, you know what, congratulations on a job well done to one of their own. We'll send back to you. I'm going to uh, maybe try some of these medals on again. Get an <laughs> <laughs>